Hey, this is Frank from Frank and Tina, and uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, a freak accident thing that happened to me, and hopefully it won't happen to you, uh, with chlorine. Uh, I spent the weekend in the hospital, um, pretty bad, had to have an ambulance pick me up. Uh, I inhaled a ton of chlorine in my lungs. Um, it's made it where right now I'm, I'm still having trouble breathing. It's, it's in the first of the week, but I wanted to give y'all a warning uh, because there's a lot of people out there that's got swimming pools and stuff and uh, I was in the pool with the girls you know over the weekend and uh, anyway I got in there and was realized the chlorine was a little low and I didn't want to you know put shock in there because we were swimming so I was just gonna put a tablet in and uh, I got Kaylee to get out and hand me the bucket and yeah, I had no idea I didn't even I wouldn't have even had her grab a bucket if I knew what was going on but what happened is a little bit of water had gotten in the bottom of the bucket of chlorine of the tablets. And then it sat there for a couple of days and it expanded that chlorine gas all inside that, um, that bucket. And I had no idea. So when I went to open it, it expanded it and really sealed it real tight where it wouldn't open. And I had it like this in my face trying to pull it apart and open it because I couldn't get it open. And finally, when the thing busted open, all that chlorine gas went down my throat. It was so strong that Tina grabbed the girls, the smell was, and put them at the other side of, took them out of the pool and carried them to the other side of the yard. I mean, she got them as far away from me as she could get them. Uh, I immediately started coughing up uh, just water. My lungs just started producing a ton of water. And I started coughing up water so bad that I couldn't catch my breath, I couldn't breathe. Uh, I was in the pool and I was blacking out. Uh, I'm so heavy, I don't know that anybody could, could really have kept me up if I would've went down. Um, I mean, I imagine they might've kept me on my back or something and uh, could've kept me alive, Tina probably could have. But she had went in the house because, you know, I told her, I said, go in the house and look up and see what this does because I mean I was just I was going out of, I mean I was seriously going out of consciousness and um, she had the good sense to call 911 and call an ambulance to come out there and get me um, they came and get me, got me took me to the hospital kept me in there over the weekend and uh, anyway they got me back alright but it could have went real bad if I would have had a little more chlorine in my lungs than what I did, I could have I could have possibly died. Uh, I could have done permanent lung damage. They said I came out, you know, very blessed that I didn't have any permanent lung damage. So this is something that's a freak accident that can happen with that chlorine that I had no idea that could happen. A matter of fact, this hospital said they've never seen this before. They've heard of it, but they've never seen of it seen it. So it does happen, but it happens kind of rare. So for goodness sakes, keep your chlorine inside the house. Don't do like I did and keep it outside next to the pool. Um, I thought it was in a bucket, it would be contained, it would be sealed. Um, I guess maybe I had it open when it was raining or maybe a splash of water got in it. Another thing is keep it, keep it somewhere where it's dry and when you open it, make sure your face is turned away from it. Um, just be a little careful because uh, I wasn't, and it just about cost me my life. I mean, you don't ever know what little thing is gonna come along and, and really mess you up. And uh, anyway, I'm in my office, and as you can tell, I've got a lot more Star Wars and Marvel toys to buy. I got a, a lot of things to do on this earth. <laughs> so anyway, um, anyway, that's what's going on. That's kind of the reason we ain't made a video in, a, in just a little bit. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, uh, Tina made one of me up there at the hospital, but um, she hadn't posted it yet. I'll I'll tag it on here at the end of this video. Anyway, y'all have y'all have a blessed day. See you later. Bye. Well, folks, there's Frank. Oh, I thought he was dead for a minute. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Yes, yeah, such a videotape. Fine, look at it. Say it, Luke. You're on my IV. Say, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Say it. Luke, I am your father. <laughs>
Hey, Spine, y'all. He just about a daddy. He thought he could breathe in chlorine tablets in our pool. Can you do that, Frank? Oh, uh, you can, but it's not advisable. It can, but it's, you can, but it's not very smart to do, is it? Not advisable. Not advisable. He got a, a free ride in the ambulance. He got some free... Ain't nothing free, but whatever. He got a ride in the ambulance. He's got a nice little breathing treatment going on here. He's got a beautiful blue gown, some beautiful white sheets, a TV, and look. His blood pressure's through the roof. Are you going to make it, Frank? Yeah, I'm going to make it. I don't know about that. Close your eyes with me. I'll be all right. Close your eyes with me, see. He'll be fine, folks. Do not breathe chlorine dust tablets. Chlorine tablets. Oh, God, I think I killed him. Crap. I gotta go.